Hey everyone, how's it going? So, like I mentioned in my last video, I was going to be doing a couple vids, uh, just just kind of focusing in on the final details of a carving. So for this one, I'll be roughing out an ego real quick, and then we'll just jump into different styles and techniques for finishing uh, certain areas and different patterns that we can create using different tools. So I'll go ahead and rough them out, and then uh, we'll just kind of work our way away from the top down. Let's get carving. Alright, so this is my rough out. It's roughly 20 minutes, alright? So please don't judge my eagle on how it looks right now. But this is what we got. But we're gonna turn this bad boy into a majestic beast. Just you wait and see. Alright, so just for the sake of not having to carve like seven different eagles, I am uh, I'm gonna do little little head things like this guy here. This this little bad boy. And then uh, on scrap pieces of wood, and we'll go over the details and all that, and I'll do the final detail that I want to do on the finished carving, which will most likely be one I like, because that makes sense, all right? For me, I've got a couple different ways I like to do my fur. Going from, ah, we'll just do it with a chainsaw to kind of really getting involved with different types of tools and a combination of different patterns. So for the first one, it's just chainsaw, right? And if you can look on any eagle, any eagle picture, you can tell that the way the feathers go are out and down the sides, right? So we're gonna do that just real quick with a chainsaw and then just go get a close up look on what she looks like. So this is essentially the first style of uh, finishing or putting a level of detail into the head. As you can see, it's just, it's just a bunch of gouges, right? And uh, for someone who who's just getting into carving, this is a great way to do feathers on, uh, on the eagle's head. Just in the sense that it is relatively easy and I guess it's not really forgiving once you're down in an area like here trying to put the feathers underneath the eye because if you make a mistake you go through the beak but it is it is one way of doing it now we're actually going to come back to this carving because this is the first step in like a three-step process on on doing a different style of feathers but uh for the most part i mean that's it right you just just doing a bunch of chainsaw gouges Well, that's interesting. So for this guy, we're going to be using the half-inch green saber ball. The way the uh, the way the feather pattern, but we're going to use the ball to create little divots. All right.
So this is the kind of pattern that that'll give you, right? It'll it'll give you a more I don't know how do you describe that. Um, just small little veins will pop up, right? So that's that's for that pattern, right? I like I said I tend to do these on owls, just on the head, right? That leads into the uh, the back of the neck here. That's where I'll do these. I don't do them on my eagles too much because they I don't like them on eagles. That's that's why. So that's that pattern. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so on this bad boy, we're just going to be using a 24 grit uh, backing pad. I don't know the name of these things, like they're oxide sanding discs or something like that on a backing pad. And uh, like, like much like the chainsaw, we're just going to be making a bunch of veins. So albeit this being a very simple way of, of carving uh, feathers, you can see how that turned out. If you were to compare it to the chainsaw, they're very, very similar. The chainsaw does go deeper though, which does kind of give it more definition. So for this feather pattern on, on the eagle, you're going to want to go ahead and do that first one we did with the chainsaw and put all the gouges in. Now we're going to go back to it with the teardrop uh, saber disc uh, green dremel bit. We're going to go over the chainsaw lines and then we're going to go with the teardrop green saber bit for the dremel and add more lines in between those lines in a sense. And it's going to give it um, just play. It's, the more lines there are, it means the more detail there is in a sense. So I'm going to do that real quick and just kind of show you what that looks like. For this specific uh, style, you know, even me, I'm still working on it because it is a really uh, intense type of feathering process. And for me, uh, it still needs a bit of work. So I'm going to show you. I didn't do the whole thing. Now there's a few areas where this turned out all right. If you can see right here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on that really well. Just there's a whole bunch of there you got your main veins and then I go across those main veins with the Dremel and it gives them these weird hard I don't know if you can see these little these guys right here this is a perfect example now our bird now this is the pattern I'm gonna use on the eagle behind me so I'm gonna pop that bad boy up here and I'm gonna do that real quick Now for your first uh, way of finishing your wing, you're just gonna go in, mark, uh, just mark three layers, right? So you'll go, you'll go one, two, and then the third will be the tail feathers down there, right? And then you're just gonna draw a bunch of scribbles up here, a couple lines in there, and a couple lines in there. And that, that's, the, that's your basic way of doing it, right? And you can do this one with the grinder or the chainsaw, just for the sake of uh, not having to do it three times. I'm just gonna do it with the chainsaw right quick to give you a quick gander how that goes.
All right, so that's your first style wing, and that's that's not putting too much detail into it, right? That uh, real simple way of carving uh, feathers on there. Uh, you, you can even take it up a notch after this and go in with the grinder and just carve individual veins, which I'm gonna do just to show you uh, what that would look like. So this is your first style of wing, right? So we've just gone, done. Uh, it's really quick, and I mean it looks good for the most part. And uh, you got your little lines there done with the grinder. All right. So for the second technique, right? We're gonna we're just gonna do a bunch of little scribbles on there, right? To kind of give it that je ne sais quoi. So this is the second way to make, you know, it's not it's not as good, I mean, as your first one. That has a little bit more definition, right? But it's passable, right? If you're just getting into carving, I mean, this would be an acceptable way to do a wing, right? Don't, uh, don't push yourself too hard. But, you know, it's, it's a style. And sometimes you might have a really nice carving, right? And you might need to do something like this just to make everything blend in right so it's not so choppy all right we'll move on to the third one all right all right so what I've gone done here is I've carved the lines out of uh, where the feathers are going to be going on the final on the final one so this is just your general shape eh? so you've got these row of feathers coming up and following the shoulder and the bones down here You've got another grouping of feathers in here that all go down. You've got your uh, flight feathers that are way down here. And these guys are just going to be jutting out sideways in a sense. So I'm going to go put the feathers on this guy. And we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so this is your final, final wing pattern. As you can tell, it's one of the ones I like doing. Because it just really makes the carving stand out. And there are a lot of layers when it comes to feathers and all that but this is as, as much detail as we're gonna do for this carving so that's style three so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll move on to doing the chest so unfortunately I didn't actually record any of that which sucks ass but uh, I've got I've got the finished piece here and I can describe to you how I attained it um, the top one is just scribbling up and down with the chainsaw <coughs> And it's literally just going on an up and down motion and then repeating that on the row, repeating it on another row until you achieve that kind of look. Now for the, the one down here, you're going in and twisting, right? So you, you make a mark and then twist the saw and you're carving J's essentially. And you do that again on the same row down below and down below, you continue on. And the important part about this technique is you need to char the wood real good when you're done with it. Once it's been charred, you hit it with a brush. I got just a nail brush, hit it with a brush. And it'll leave the carving nice and smooth and give you those nice jutting feather looks. Now I'm gonna do this on the actual carving so you get to see this one again, but pretty sure if we're all amateur carvings, we know this technique and we've all done it before, right? Okay. Alright, so I will char him at the end and then touch everything up.
All right, everybody, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll give you a, a glance at the finished picture here. Um, it's turned out all right. Uh, doing this carving, I realized that I'm not too good at carving feet, so I'm gonna have to get better at that. And uh, before you say, well, you know, where's the, you didn't show us how to make the beak and the feet. Like I said, I'm not good at carving feet. I wanted this video just kind of to reflect uh, different techniques for feathering and different patterns you can use to get different looks. Uh, next week I'll be doing a tutorial on how to carve a sea turtle uh, step by step for that and uh, I think I had a comment there regarding the ads that I'm starting to put on my 